Welcome to Southern Piscataquis County, Maine. This is the town of Milo, population 2,251, and that river is the clean, brisk, and beautiful Sebec River, which flows peacefully to the mighty Piscataquis River. Milo wasn't always called Milo. It started out as Township Number 3. It takes its name from Milo of Croton, a famous athlete from ancient Croto in Italy. Mind you, in Italy, this town would be pronounced Milo. Milo is a bit of a crossroads and is gateway to some of the best fishing, hunting, hiking, boating, lakeside musing north of Portland. Just down the road a piece are the great waters of the Scudic, Sabois, and Sebec lakes. Milo sits in the valley of the pleasant Piscataquis and Sebec rivers. Time to make your fish rod ready. When in town, you no doubt will want to stop in to Elaine's Basket Cafe and Bakery. The name says it all. Hungry for a meal? Well, there's always Milo House of Pizza, Pat's Pizza, or C&J's Variety. Need a place for a picnic lunch? No problem. I'm actually flying the drone from Veterans Park right downtown on the river. Each year, Milo hosts the famous Black Fly Festival with a parade, gobs of food, and crafters selling quality goods down at Veterans Park. It's a grand old time for all ages. There's live music, kids' events, and everyone's favorite, the Black Fly Festival t-shirt. Did you know that the top of Piscataquis County borders Aroosta County. Aroosta County is the largest county east of the Mississippi River. That's the end of the useless facts. Do you want more information about this area? Well, hang on, because we have more videos for you. For instance, you can check out our videos of Brownville Junction, Ashland, Maine, Masadas, and so many more, and a lot more coming. Hope to see you at the festival. Thank you for watching. 